Right, good afternoon everyone. Now, I've got this polystyrene ring. I'm going to make a patchwork from it. I'm going to add lace as well. It's just going to be something different. But it, because my needle won't go through, it will go through the polystyrene, but it'll ruin it. I have to cover it first before I patch it. So I'm going to use this particular felt because it doesn't get used that often. And I'm just going to cut strips and cover it. So I'm hoping that I can cut this relatively straight. But that could be an impossibility for me because I can't see. Oops. So I'm just going to cover it um, with a like a strip of it. I'm going to cut a long one. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered up using the scraps. It is after all a patchwork. Now I'm going to put my glue gun on because I might glue this in place but I do have to be careful because I don't, you know, the needle's got to go through. So it'll be just gluing that onto there and then basically wrapping that around like that. So I can glue that bit on and that'll be fine. So right now, because um, felt stretches, I can do that and I'm just going to go halfway so that'll cover it nicely. Now we do have these polystyrene rings in the shop. Uh, I think they're bigger than this, slightly bigger, about 10 inch I think. Now, I don't want that coming over there. I always want to start at the back and finish at the back. So when my glue gun's ready, I'm just going to cut that off. Don't waste that because it'll come in handy somewhere else. And I will just do that. And that I think that'll be fine. Yeah. And when I'm stitching, I'll be able to catch it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And it's padded it out a little bit. So, um, I've got different fabrics. Now, I've got my pins in case I need to pin it. You know, I might need to pin some of it together. Um, I want to use the browns. So I've got these sort of bits and pieces to use up. Got a bit of cordage. I suppose I could use a flowery bit of this, couldn't I? Let's just move that out of the way. So like I say, I've got lots of different bits of fabric that I'm going to play around with. And I've got some laces and things like that. Now, what I have got, and just let me show you this. I put it on the shop. I have to show you because it is just stunning. Look at this embroidered fabric. It's like a heavy duty linen. It's embroidered. It can't be cut up. Whoever buys it needs to put it up as a wall hanging. It is stunning and it's big. So, you know, it's embroidered. Look at it. Heavy duty. It's bloody gorgeous. Needs edging or somehow, you know, making into a cover. of some sort anyway so um i'm going to start off with this bit of fabric i've got so i'm going to cut a piece of this and like i say you don't have to have neat edges because you can neaten them up when you're doing 
you know, your braids and things like that. So I'm just going to get a piece of this and I'm going to just attach this. Let me just see. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin everything in place first. Now I will be able to, I hope, sort that out. So that's got my first piece on. Uh, and then of course I'm going to mix and match it. I absolutely love this. Um, Julie's daughter Vanessa gave it to me. And it was just the top, but look at the fabric. And I'm going to cut it and use it. It's just beautiful.
Righty ho, that's that done. I've just got one more piece to fit in here and I'm not sure if I'm, I might just use that. Um, do I want to use that? Not sure. No, I'm going to use another piece of this. I don't care if it's, uh, that's not going to, well no, it will because I've got um, edging to do. No bits. like that I've got some small trimmings that I can put up on these okay so just get rid of that out of the way and that bit and that bit and that bit so now what I've got here are uh, just like oddments that I want to decorate this with and let me just put that in my tub because I don't want to waste any. So I need to find where I want to put this trim but first of all I have some other trims that um, I've got here. that I can fill in you see now I got these the other day I don't know whether I want to use them though and I've got some flowers that I may want to put on and use I'm not really having to stitch anything am I because you can glue it see like that So maybe it's a good idea. Now what I'm going to do is to glue over here because I want to make sure this sticks. Okay, that's that trim. Then I've decided I'm going to use some of this because I like the colours. But where does it need it? And the only place it needs it really are where the edges are of the material, not the trims because they're already edged. I want to go sparingly with this. We do have this in the shop, folks. Oh, come off. Yeah, we have it in the shop. Yep, so that's that one. Now I have this, like I say, I do want a touch of green because it has got green in it. So I've got that trim. This is in the shop as well. And um, look under braids, trims and braids. That's the right way. Now this I'm going to put here on that section. Oh, looks gorgeous. So yeah, now I'm going to glue that in, just had a little bit of trouble manoeuvring that piece down so I'm going to glue it in out the way.
Well, I like that and I'm fine with it. So I think what I'm going to do now is just to add some colourful flowers. Um, and let me just see. Um, I definitely... I love this green. It might be too much. There's a paler green. Do you know what? I might use this lace I've got here. I wanted to... Yes, I'm going to use it. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to need some cording. And I could use the white cording here. Because it's not just white. Now I'm going to use the pink. We do sell this. You get a yard of each. Pink, blue and white like I said we try and sell it everything that I use this is in the store at the moment and that goes really quick so grab that and all of our beaded trims are in the store grab them the when they're gone they're gone I told you okay so where do I want this to be um, I'm going to have that as the top I just need to make a loop like that put one there and one there squash that down I will put over it a little bit of this, I think. And then I'm going to do this. Now, it may not work and I may have to take the whole lot apart. So I'm just going to move all my trims. And I do need to sort my box out again because every time I use it, they get all messed up. And I don't like it. <laughs> I may put some leaves on yet because that will tie all of this in. So I managed to get a load of this. Now there's a right and that's the right way, that's the wrong way, but and this is where I'm gonna get glued up to the eyeballs. I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay. Now I have to do that. And make sure that's on there, okay. There should be enough to go all the way around. And we'll see what it looks like when it's done. But I'm going to pleat it. Lift. And glue that down. I only want it on the edging. Might just have to do it that way, actually. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, stick down, buggy. I will speed this up because I know that it's uh, time consuming this sort of work and I can't help that, I do apologise. I'll be back. 
Right, I've managed to do that. I've just gathered it along the back. Um, you know, all the way around the edge, I mean. And I do need to put a piece on the back. <laughs> I quite like that. The only thing that's bugging me is that flower is way off the centre. So it needs to be on there. I'm going to pull that back. Tuck this bit in. It's not covering, you see, this bit here. And then just go like that. Push that back on. So it's as easy as that. And you can't really see this. Well, you can see that, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm not fussing about it at all. Whenever you're doing a project, folks, don't fuss. Don't, if you make a mistake, hey, ho, oh, so what? You know, correct it. If you can't correct it, change it. If you can't change it, throw it. <laughs> Don't throw it. Change it. Correct it. Do something with it. But I, I just like that as a wall hanging. And I could have used any colour trim. But for some reason, I like the green in it. I'm going to put something else here. I'm going to see if I've got another one of those flowers, actually. Just to give it a bit of colour. Now I know they're not even, even actually, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to have to even them out a little bit. I've just noticed that that's going to go there. We do need another one. Um, oh, we'll just put a blue one on here. We'll just put one on. It's put a bit of colour in it, hasn't it? I'm going to have a little purple thing on top of that. And I think... I'm just going to remove that and move it over a little bit. You're not going to see when I had the other one. Uh, and we'll add a little purple one here. And then we'll have a little blue on top of that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm fine with it, to be honest. Yeah, I just feel like I want to hang something from the middle. Now, while I was out the other day, I did come across... Um, Oh, do you know, that would look gorgeous. Oh, I've just found something else to do. I did come across some of these crystals. And I think having that in the window with that. So what I need is some chain. Okay, so all I need now really is to use a bit of chain. Now we do have this in the shop as well. If you can't find it, let me know because sometimes it shows it's run out and I don't know that because it doesn't tell me things have run out. And we do have an awful lot in the shop. Now, I may hang this from the back, obviously, from there to there, I think. We'll see if it works. We can always undo it. Okay. See, like that. Now, if I have that there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, that needs to be poked through the front here. So I may need to use a couple of pins uh, to hold it for now until I find somewhere. And I've got um, the, like, U-shaped pins somewhere. Now, let me just bend that. I'm going to bend it like a hook. And just for now, hang that from there. Yeah, okay. I will take a picture of it for you to see. But yeah, I'm happy with that and that can stay in there. That's going to hold it. In fact, I can glue that in, in place. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto there and then pin that in place like that and that will stay put. Oh, definitely happy with that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon and uh, hope you like it. Bye bye for now.